What's up, everybody? The C A R L O S Carlos and Tay reacting to Re Zero Season 2, Episode 8. Let's get into it. I was starting to wonder if you'd arrived before I got old. Hold on a minute. You're Otto's helper? It sounds like we're equals if you call me that. Try attendant. Now you're talking with yours, which is familiar. Mm -hmm. I received orders from Master Roswell to help you, but seeking out the assistance of Otto to try and meet that end was my own decision. So, he measured up to your standards? I knew I needed to find someone, anyone, fast, or you would die in vain. Hate to admit it, but you're right. Don't talk like that! For a person who's been confined, you seem awfully composed. Huh? Oh. I did just have a good laugh, right, Otto? <laughs> We're leaving here. As long as Miss Amelia is attempting the trial, Garfield will remain in the graveyard. And while he's distracted, we'll escape. No. That'll have to wait till later. Seriously? I'm not saying we won't go, but I've got a golden opportunity right now. What is it you're planning to do? The same thing I was trying to do three days ago before I was interrupted. Oh, we got the intro, Polly? What? What? Okay. Look, Roswell, I We're won't let you hide anything from me this time. Reunited after just three days. It doesn't exactly feel like a miraculous return, does it? No more jokes. Last thing I want to do now is stand here and play these annoying little games with you. So Ram let you in, yes? Well, after ordering her to help you, I suppose that would make sense. Yeah, which is why she did it so easily this time. I've put the idea of running away on hold for the moment. Oh? I want to ask you something, Not assuming that my leaving the sanctuary is a given. By all means, if I have the answer, I won't even hesitate. As far as I know, this is something only you would be able to tell me. So my question is, is Beatrice Knew it. a member of the witch's cult? <laughs> no, no. What makes you suspect she would be involved in such a thing? I saw her in the library, and she was holding a gospel. If I'm right about this, and she is a witch cultist, that that would make her an enemy to us all. Or at least to me. Mm. Those are strong words. Words that took true resolve to say. However, even if you speak them with that pained expression, they're not very convincing. <laughs> the idea mm. that the two of you would ever become enemies is a truly awful one. Thus, I feel I should offer you a helping hand. You want to help me? That sounds like one of the shadiest things I've ever heard. <laughs> Something that resembles a gospel rather closely is indeed in her possession. So I can see how you thought it might be one. But you have my word that she is not a witch cultist. <laughs> Are you sure? While her book isn't a gospel, it is somewhat unique. That magical text tells the true future, and only two copies exist in the whole world. In fact, it's the closest thing there is to the Tome of Wisdom. So what you're saying mm. is that... Now hold on a second, she definitely told me that book was a gospel! Everything I do is in accordance with the gospel's guidance, I suppose. That's because it lacks an official name. Hence, it shares the same one as the defective versions. Ah. Defective? Well, just as long as she's not really a witch cultist, then it's all right. But now what I want to know is, how am I ever going to convince her to help me? Tell her Roswell said to ask the question. Huh? If you relay that exact instruction to Beatrice, she should respond. That sounds just like... Look her in the eye and say Roswell said to ask the question. Like last time. Oh, I see. It appears that these words are insufficient for you, aren't they? Hang on. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, in that case, tell her this. I am that person, and that should do the trick. What's that supposed to mean? Get Beatrice to ask the question, then answer it affirmatively. If you do that, she will without a doubt stand by your side as an ally. But how can you be so sure that it'll actually work? Because it's there in the contract that you hold so dearly and is powerless to override. I wonder if he has the second you're certain one. certain about this? Yeah, there's two. All right, but if this doesn't work, you're getting a punch in the face. And that I can promise you, understand? 
<laughs> oh, very well then. Do as you please. Once you've joined forces with Beatrice, I can assure you she'll be a great help in solving all the problems concerning the sanctuary. Hey, Roswell, I've got one last question for you. What would that be? Tell me the truth. You're not actually our enemy now, are you? Ooh, no, of course not. Chills. Rest assured, I am an ally to you. I got chills. Did you chills. get any answers? Chills. Like you. I think all the pieces fit together now. What's the plan? A carriage might draw attention. So you and I will need to ride out of here together. Is that all right? Yeah, you'd be in danger if you stayed around too, so that would... Wait, hang on a second. Once we're out of the sanctuary, our first stop is the mansion. We can't just leave Frederica there to fend for herself. The two of us wouldn't be much help. In a fight, I'd have to agree. Let me guess then. You're hoping that I'll go with you, right? Well, it does seem like the best way for us... I mean, I'd feel a lot better. I suppose I must. It all depends if they could get out of the sanctuary. Master Roswell gave me an order to assist you, so this definitely qualifies. But... How will this work? There's just one ground dragon and three of us. Uh... Even if the two of you only amount to half a man, you each take up a whole man's space. <laughs> I don't think they all fit on a single dragon. Was the half a man comment necessary? Having a cozy little chat out in the woods? <laughs> Well, since I'm here, oh, let me in on the fun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like they always say, the brighter it shines, the farther away the Macreza goes, you know? Don't you have a trial to oversee right now? Why are you wasting time hanging around here? You keep your mouth shut. My job is to protect this place. So if it's being threatened, I got all the time in the world. As long as you're out here, you'll never escape the eyes of the sanctuary. What are you talking about? Well, let's just say your little plans were leaked. So, what do you think you're heading off to? Who? Who let's leaked them? Up. We're taking Barusu outside the sanctuary. He'll only cause you trouble if he stays here, so it's best for everyone. It all works out perfectly. Think you know what's going on in my head, huh? Damn, ain't nothing lovable about you at all. That is what I like about you, though. In that case, is it safe to assume you're going to agree to let us go? Uh, are you kidding me? Listen up, you blabbering idiot! I know damn well it'd be a pain in my ass to keep you out here! Which means... Hoshin was spun on sunset. Seriously? I don't understand those expressions of yours at all, but just as long as... What's up with you guys all of a sudden? Given your lack of education, it's no wonder you didn't understand him. Hoshin was Banan on sunset is a saying based on the tale of how the legendary trader Hoshin brought the small nation of Banan to ruin. It gives your rival two options, surrender or face an all-out attack. Sounds like I was better off not knowing that. Garth, are you yeah. so dumb that you didn't comprehend what I said? You may be hot, Rom, but I am getting pretty tired of your mouth. Watch it. Ooh. Just because I'm crushing on you don't mean I won't twist your little arm off. Oh. Now take him back to where he was. You really don't want me to leave, do you? Like she said, keeping me around is bad news. So if you can let me go without any trouble, why wouldn't you? I don't know what the hell you are. And that means I can't let you outside of this place, and that's all there is to it. I hate to hear you say that, as your decision may greatly upset Master Roswell. Because to my dear Master, Barusu, is simply a useless employee and easily discarded. Hey, thanks a bunch. <laughs> I appreciate it. Why would it bother me if Roswell was upset? How much do you think he cares about this place? Or about the old hag or anybody else, huh? He yeah. doesn't give a damn! Nope. Not even about you, Rom! Master Roswell is Shut a... Shut up, shut up, shut up! You gotta go. I don't give a shit about you this little bastard. I'm done arguing about this, so hand him over now! Say the tiger, all right. Damn you, small fry! Let yourself get distracted, Garth. Just get the hell out of my way, Rob! Hang on a minute, Otto. What's happening? You would have been in big trouble if we'd stayed there any longer. Rom and I made this decision together. Uh, hey, what are you doing now? Something that I was really hoping I'd never have to resort to. It would have been better this if this sense. wasn't necessary. <laughs> oh my god, the citizens! Oh, shoot! They're all going down now. I knew it. I knew it. Are those the people of Arlem? Yep. Why did I tell you? I have some very reliable helpers. 
Mm -hmm. I figured you were that bomb. Be careful and stay safe, Subaru. Over this way. The path is clear. Otto, take good care of them for us. But why are we all doing something so crazy? You're the last person who should be asking a question like that. They all have respect for you, man. Just keep going straight and you'll find a barrier. What about you guys? We'll hold them off. We can buy enough time for you to escape. No problem. Oh, he turned! He turned animal! Oh, shoot. Damn, that attack was powerful. So everyone's okay? Sato and them. I knew it. He turned to the tire. Oh my god. Federico is a lion, huh? The tiger. Please, Garfield. Damn. You can see why Please. there's different parents. Don't hurt them. Then the lion. Do what you say. So please, don't harm anyone else. Come on, Kasuru. You idiot! Get away from him! Oh. oh, you! Oh. You killed Otto. Everyone's gonna sacrifice their lives for Superman. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay away from Subaru, you evil monster! Oh! Oh! oh. Snowing? Where are we? Are we? Is he in a different trial? What's going on? He's in the sanctuary, so that's what it looks like. I don't get it. Why are you on? Yeah. What the heck? What happened? What happened? Why is it snowing? Is it teleported again? Just like last time? There's a snow bunny, I think. A rabbit. How is this the only living thing I've seen? Oh, 
how the heck? Damn. He just got the finger and the entire ankle though. What happened with the leg? There were two more? They're all around him. I bet they all, they killed the humans, uh, everyone else, every other citizen in the sanctuary, I bet you. No way. Damn, this is the most painful of all. It grew some freaking death for the fr uh, these past two seasons, man. Getting bit, getting eaten alive, man. That's like the worst death you can get. Like the most gruesome death right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hell you yeah, know. I think that's like people's worst freaking way to die, man. Getting eaten alive. Oh my god. That's. Someone to attend one of my tea parties a second time. What you the heck? Proud. I'm feeling so cold and relaxed. This is creepy. What is happening to me? It's due to the tea you drank last time. The contents therein had a direct impact on your sloth witch factor, encouraging stability. If not for that, your soul itself would have crumbled to pieces. Now I'm all ears and ready to accept your words of gratitude. Then can I assume that this will keep on working even after I'm back outside? Well, we are talking about your mental state, right? As long as you remember what happened here, you should be absolutely fine. Still waiting for a thank you. Tell me, is there any way that you know of to try and overwrite the vow? Hmm? You know, the one that makes me forget all about you the minute I step outside. Because as long as it stands, my soul's still likely to fall apart. I suppose that's true, but I... On top of that, my soul isn't the only problem here. I still want to be able to remember you regardless. Huh? <clears throat> and if that comes at a price, fine. I'll pay whatever you want. In return, I want assurance you won't hide yourself in my memories. Uh, sure. Huh? Really? Thanks a lot. And no changing your mind, all right? No, of course not. I wouldn't ever do something so shameless. Though I will say, I think it's a bit unfair to even presume that. <sighs> Gulping down my body fluids again, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll ask you once more. Where's the gratitude? I'm waiting patiently, but I don't think I'm hurt yet. Oh Whatever! Thanks for making me this nasty bodily fluids tea, you witch! I'm afraid that only wounded my maidenly heart. <laughs> Second time. Oh my god. Anything else? Something on your mind? Quit playing around. Exactly how much have you found out about me anyway? If that's your query, I know only what I know. Hmm. If you're asking what I want to know, the answer is everything in this world. There's no way you aren't feeling strange about all of this. I have to assume, for you, this is happening right after your last tea party with me, isn't it? So if you don't think this is strange, then... That means... That means what? It means... You're not thrown by any of this because you know how it happened. Mm. That's how he said something. He well, killed me. Amelia. I might not even have okay, enough time to regret saying those words. If that proves to be true, can I expect you to break down physically and emotionally and cry over my corpse? <clears throat> Don't say. I... I've been returning by death! What didn't happen? She's still alive. You know, it feels a bit embarrassing to have you staring at me like that. 
when I, when I die, I go back in time and restart the world, and it's happened a lot. I call it return by death. I heard you. And before I heard you, I saw you. I die, and I come back. Return by death, return by death, return hey, by death! Hey, take it easy. Look, death. I understand how you feel, but there's no need to... It's true! I've been returning by death! I died and started again over and over! Got it? I return by death! I get it, I said. Just listen to me for a minute. I... Damn. Return by death. She's the first Got one to ever right know. Over and over. What about this? You can't say it to no one else. That's crazy. Just like all this time, I'm just carrying a burden. Since I came to this world, I've never, ever been able to say it to anyone. Over and yeah. over, all alone, alone this whole time. I thought he was by himself the entire time. <laughs> Got chills, man. Damn. I was watching you. But watching is all I was doing. So if you don't mind, I'd like you to tell me yourself. What you've been thinking and how you felt, the good and the bad, how much weight you've carried too. I want to know everything. And that's what truly drives me. Omniscience is what I desire most. After all, I am the witch of great echidna. The value of life. Damn, what a episode. What a... Back this, uh, this special ending music. It totally goes with it. It didn't need the ending that's mostly used. But the special ending. Oh, it captivated that moment, man. That emotional moment. This was freaking awesome. What an episode. Man, Reza was bringing in the episodes. Like, back to back, back, good one. And these are all. This season is fantastic. Oh my god. Even last season, but. I'm feeling, oh, it's so happy to have ReZero back, man. It's been a long time since we had season one. Oh, my God. Finally, we got ReZero 2, man. Season 2, man. I can't wait for, oh, for the next ep next week's episode, man. But, yeah. That's the end of the reaction. Guys, hit that like button, like the video. Subscribe for more reactions to ReZero season 2. And I'll see you guys in the next video that I upload. Adios. Oh my god, that gruesome death though. Oh.